for us at Stanford, it's vital that we establish that bond of trust with our community. I think that these provide some really exciting opportunities for us to begin to level that playing field. We're really developing that as an area of not only innovation, but also of healthcare delivery. Innovation and science at Stanford University is helping improve public health and respiratory disease and critical illness. The Division of Pulmonary Allergy and Critical Care Medicine is focused on delivering care to underserved communities, recruiting and promoting a diverse faculty and reflecting and serving the community is a shared vision for the team and it's how they succeed. At Stanford University Medical Center, the passion that drives innovation in science also drives its dedication to providing care to the community. Innovation doesn't do any good if it doesn't reach the people that need it. That same energy is poured into the support and promotion of faculty and identifying each person's strengths. I'd say what drew me out to Stanford in the first place was the incredible diversity of career opportunities that Stanford offers for their faculty. They don't have a very rigid mindset for what success looks like in academic medicine. So to be a clinician scientist at Stanford is a very feasible and rewarding experience. The Division of Pulmonary Allergy and Critical Care Medicine shares the spirit of the Silicon Valley location embracing dramatic growth and attracting the best residents into the pulmonary critical care field. And it's grown to take over more than a third of the campus. But the, the faculty size hasn't really grown as much. So there's a lot of interdepartmental collaborations in ways that I don't think you see it at larger universities with larger faculties. It's a philosophy of the growth for our division that we look to recruit outstanding fellows who bring diverse backgrounds and interests to come here for their training in clinical medicine and in science, and then to bring that great clinical care into our community, to multiple clinics across the Bay Area, to bring that subspecialty care to the local population. Multidisciplinary care and an insistence on innovation that improves access. Clinical Excellence Research Center, or CIRC Center at Stanford, I think is another element that really makes Stanford stand apart. It's this unique think tank-like entity at Stanford. It may be the only center within a major university dedicated to excellence using innovation to drive down healthcare costs. CIRC collaborates with Stanford AI-assisted care using AI sensors to better monitor patient care in the ICU and at home. You can predict people that might be running into trouble with COPD exacerbations remotely as they're living in their home and get a hold of them before they know that they're even getting into trouble. Benefiting underserved communities and people with limited access. For us to be able to carry out our mission both clinical and research, you need to build trust with our community. And we have a very diverse community. And the division is focused on diversity and gender equity to reflect the communities it serves. And trust is vital for us to be able to push the field forward and ensure that everybody's getting equal Care. We think a lot about recruitment and retention of underrepresented minorities and women in medicine. We think quite a bit about anti-racism education and developing curricula that's going to support that. The division was deeply moved by the Black Lives Matter movement and founded Critical Care Diversity Council. And our group strongly decided that they wanted to not only privately but publicly get behind uh, BLM. 
I was one of those people who was trying to capture that momentum and capture that energy, capture the anger that people felt at what was happening nationwide and turn that into something productive and hopefully make some sort of meaningful change. So there has been a significant amount of action that's been taken and st have started to implement a lot of the processes that we would like to see in place. This has involved things like recruitment of underrepresented minorities for the training positions such as mine. A group of clinicians, scientists, and scholars advocating diversity, inclusion, and delivery of care, integrating cutting-edge technologies, taking the national stage, and helping the world to breathe. We see our clinical and research efforts to be part of one initiative, and if we work together, we can provide better level of care and we become national leaders that set an example that other programs can use to maximize all the talent and put it to the service of our patients.